This is problem number eight. So in this problem, it, we're given this graph, and it says consider the graph y equals f of x, where f of x has a vertical tangent line at x equals zero. So I'm just going to write vertical tangent at x equals zero. So that line there said, so now they want us, um, it, it gives us a bunch of graphs, but it says which of the following graphs is a possible graph of y equals f prime of x. So I'm just going to draw a possible graph, and then we'll talk about why the other graphs are incorrect. So as you can see, from negative infinity until zero, we've got a negative slope. And as you can see, as we get closer and closer and closer to zero, our slope is getting more and more and more negative. It's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So um, this side is going to look like this. And again, it doesn't touch this value of x equals zero because we have a vertical tangent line at x equals zero. And as you can see, that's going to be an undefined slope. So we're not going to have anything at zero. And then um, from zero to this value, whatever, we'll say this value of a, we still have a negative slope, but it's um, becoming less and less negative. But it starts from a really negative point. So we're going to start from down here and go up. And I'll say that this value here is a, because at a, our slope is zero. And then from a on to positive infinity, our slope is positive. And it is steadily increasing to become more and more positive as well. So based off this graph, the only possible choice is answer C. Answer A is incorrect because it gives us a slope at zero and it says that the slope of zero is zero and that's incorrect because we have a vertical tangent line which means that our slope is undefined at that point. At B, again, they um, have a um, vertical asymptote at zero which is good but on um, the negative portion of the graph and the negative x values we've got a positive or values that are positive um, and as you can see from our original graph, all those values of x, all the negative values have negative slopes. So that's why b is incorrect. c is correct. Um, it looks just like this. Um, and that is our answer. d is incorrect. Um, it's got the negative portion correct. Um, so that first half, but the second half of the graph, it starts positive. But our graph here, these values, um, from whatever the zero to some a value, those values have negative slopes. It's still decreasing until we get to that a, and this starts off in, um, as a positive value. So that's why d is wrong and e is wrong because, again, it's saying that these negative values of x have positive slopes and they do not. So that is why answer c is correct for number eight.